Hey, it's Dr. Carla. Today we're gonna to talk a little bit about different types of box drums and when you might want to use one type versus another type. Um, so one version that sometimes we'll call for uh, in a, an accessory movement would be a tall box jump. And so what we wanna see there is you landing tall on the box. Feet should still land underneath the hips, knees should still track in line with the feet. We never want to land like this. This is usually something we see with teenage girls, so we really have to work on lateral hip stability. It's just a general weakness, typically that we see there. So when, when you do a tall box jump, so I want to land pretty tall. If you can land taller than that, great. Um, then there are the ones for people that do well in the like deep squats. So if you notice the top of my head right now, I actually don't really have to even jump my head any taller, but then I have to stand all the way up. So if you have a lot of great hip flexor strength, that is a way that you can cycle your box jumps. Um, probably one of the most effective and efficient ways is to land in a power position. And when I say power position, that's the position where you would like take off from your queen, so pocket or that power position. So if I'm going to cycle box jumps, landing in that power position, so I can power up, go back down, would likely be the most efficient for most people. One like word of caution, if you are the person who likes to land in the bottom of their squat, you need to put on the brakes. We see a lot of people come up and bottom out their squat. You're gonna kill your knees. So what I mean by that is they come up and they're gonna bottom out their squat before they stand up. You only have so much cartilage in your knees, so I would pay attention to how you use that cartilage and when you use that cartilage and save yourself and you might as well build up some quad strength while you're at it. That's your Wisdom Wednesday.